not only in, from Tennessee where we pull most of our dogs, but the South in general has an extreme overpopulation of dogs. The Memphis shelter puts to sleep probably 80% of the dogs that enter, not because they're unhealthy or have any issues, but because they don't have room for them. It's just um, thousands and thousands of unwanted dogs are, are euthanized uh, on a daily basis, pretty much. We pull dogs primarily from the Memphis shelter. It's a very large facility, over 300 kennels there. They take in an enormous amount of dogs every year. And as I said, the majority of them are put to sleep uh, simply because of space. All of our dogs are adopted out of state, either to the Midwest, Chicago, Milwaukee, or New York, Connecticut areas. There's no homes for, for them in the area. For every adopter, one person, there's probably 500 dogs. We pull on an average 50 dogs a month, approximately. We try to take some of the dogs that have um, special needs. Theo was covered in mange. She hardly had any hair on him. He was bleeding everywhere. He was just a baby, three months old, maybe, um, around 19 pounds. And um, even though he just had to be miserable, he came up to the front of his kennel and he wagged his tail and he licked Angela. So um, we we took him, and uh, if we had not have taken him the next day, he would have been, he would have been euthanized. Yes, he has done wonderfully. He's all his hair has come back now. He's a happy, healthy dog. He's ready for a home. He's been neutered. And he's ready for his family, but he's and he turns out to be just a gorgeous, gorgeous puppy, about five months old now. I visited the shelter, which was extremely sad and unbelievable. It just makes me more motivated to get home and and do what I can there to make this um, issue become something of the past. You know, we rely on donations to keep our rescue running. Uh, the dogs require vet care, food, uh, flea and tick prevention, heartworm treatments. They have to stay with us for two weeks before they can be available for adoption. Someone needs to care for them. Uh, there's a lot of time and effort that goes into what we do in rescue. Um, we love what we do, we're dedicated to it, but it wouldn't happen unless we had some grateful donors who would want to contribute toward our cause. Good girl, you're so smart. You are so smart. What a good dog. She took eight back to Connecticut with her. Um, all but one has been adopted, and the one remaining puppy uh, has some people coming to meet her this weekend, so we're hoping that she will get her home also. You know, that's a great success that all of them have found wonderful, loving homes, and we get photos from them, and that we see um, them growing and playing, and it's just, um, it's wonderful that so many people are rescue friendly. When you rescue a shelter dog, you're just giving a dog in need a great home. I have my guy Hank, and I knew I wanted to get either a brother or sister for him, so I was just looking on Pet Finder because I knew it was going to be really important to me to find a rescue dog, and I saw this guy, and I just fell in love with him. Bev made it so easy, and I just, I respect her and her mission and Mar so much, and um, she ran the background check on me really easily. We hit it off on the phone. She called my vet. Um, checked my references and then within a couple weeks Louie came to <laughs> Louie came to be part of my family and it's been the best best decision ever. So for me rescuing dogs, adopting dogs, it's always been part of my family, part of who we are and I just didn't know any different. So when we decided to get a dog I said we should we should look at adopting one. You sit. Um, we both of us 
the only dogs we've ever had were rescue dogs. Um, the going to a pet store was kind of back from the 50s, I feel like, and breeders were never something we thought about, A, because we didn't have a specific breed we wanted, and also because, I mean, why spend a thousand dollars on a puppy when you can get a perfectly good one, <laughs> you know, for less than that that's rescued and, you know, save a life, and um, with him, we were looking for a dog that was very, like, kind of mild-mannered, and, and Beverly was really good at helping us say, you know, this one's, this one's good at, you know, he just likes to calm, be calm and chill, and he's, he gets along with all the other dogs, and so he was a good match, um, a good match for us, too. I just couldn't imagine that there were that many dogs that needed to be adopted and uh, rescued. I just, it just was because dogs have been such an important part, part of my uh, life for for so many years, and they and they bring just such such humor and love and warmth and excitement, and you know, um, they're uh, you know they're just they're a part of the. The family. And I saw this this face, this this uh, absolutely adorable. And and I had been looking at at pictures, you know, like some thumbnail pic pictures of uh, dogs on the line. And I saw this this face, and I said, I have to have that 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 dog. That is my uh, dog. Um, and I didn't want to wait, so I, I tracked her down. And she drove from Memphis to St. Louis, and I drove from Chicago to St. Louis, and I got him then. I mean, like with, within five days. And he spent his first night at the Ritz, and I said, is this cool? This rescue dog is, is at the Ritz, you know? So, um, and, um, you know, and I brought, brought him home to uh, Chicago. The trainer, um, Tillman, that I, I found after his first or our first training session said, Sarah, Harley is very smart and he is such a sweet, gentle dog that he needs to be a therapy dog. Mm -hmm. And that was right from the beginning. So I said, what do I need to uh, do? And, and he said, you need to take classes. So we did, and nine months later, he, um, we passed the test. This this dog has changed my life. So in so in a way, he saved me too. You know. There's so many dogs that need help, um, but you, I think you have to step back and not look at the full scope of, of things. You just have to focus on the dogs that you, you are able to help just one at a time. Um, if you go into the shelter or uh, we have a foster where we can just pull one dog, I mean, that's one dog that, you know, that made it out.